Now let's try to find out here the differential coefficient or derivative of this given function sine 2nx over cos square nx. Okay, so let me suppose this is my function y is equals to sine 2nx over cos square nx. Okay, uh, now you can imagine this as a function u and another function as a v and you can use the quotient rule and you can solve it. But don't do hurry. You can solve it even to a simpler value because sine 2 nx, it's, it, it, you can use here sine 2 theta formula and here is cos square nx. So one cos will cancel up with the, uh, with the uh, numerator. All right. So it is 2 times sine nx times cos nx divided by cos square nx all right and now what you can do you can cancel all right what you can cancel you can cancel this cos nx with this power and you'll be left with two uh let me write in the uh, another another sign all right so y equals to now you have two sine annex over cos annex and now it will be uh i'll write <laughs> here so y equals to now two tan and x and now again now differentiate both sides right so differentiating both side with respect to x you'll get dy over the dx equals to now 2 is a constant so it is coming outside derivative of tan and x with respect to dx right but uh, we cannot differentiate it so what do we have to do we cannot differentiate uh, with respect to x here now so we need to first differentiate with respect to its angle and then we different will differentiate angle with respect to its base so it is 2 times uh, derivative of tan and x with respect to an x d and x and now let's multiply we divided here now let's multiply d and x over the dx all right so now you, you can see see it's matching an x and x we can differentiate so what is the derivative of tan theta everybody know derivative of tan theta is 2 times sec square theta so sec square and x times now derivative of an x that is n so finally what we get that uh, our derivative or differential coefficient of y dy over the dx is 2 times n that is 2n sec square and x this is uh, our required answer all right